I still remember vividly the first time he came here for his uh, recruiting visit. I just saw incredible athletic ability and, and a real passion to to want to go somewhere and to improve and to learn the game. The jump's always been there, the attacking's always been there, but it's it's been a lot of the other skills that he's had to work on to develop. He'll definitely do his, his job when called upon in the, the attacking area of the game, but he's definitely there for the team 100%. The interesting thing is he's really become a leader, not just on the court for us, but, but off the court. And he's taken it upon himself to, to be one of the guys and to show that uh, we can come together. And it's, it's a big reason why we've played well this year and uh, because our team is, is very cohesive and, and he's been a, a real leader in that area. You know, that's what I like to see is these guys growing up into uh, into a young men and ready to tackle what's waiting for them once they leave our program. And I'm excited to see where Kevin goes, whatever he decides to do, but I know he's going to be successful. It's a bittersweet year for, for Laura, obviously have a fifth year presentation without actually having played her fifth year, because it would have been the culmination of five years of growth and improvement. And really at the end of last year, she, she was a, a really, really good Canada West left side six rotation player who had an impact in every match she played. Every bit of our training, she just went at it full bore and embraced it and, and became a really, really, really good player. Yeah, I'm really proud of her. She just leads by example, first and foremost, and with her attitude more than anything else. And that really never changed. I mean, she never wavered from that, whether she was in her first year or fifth year. Yeah, she just, always was positive about everything and no matter how hard the work was she never complained put her head down got it done and, and left with a smile on her face most of the time which you can't ask for much more than that just powerfully positive kid She just developed into a really, really good, smart, capable, hardworking middle blocker. And she's a real thinker as an athlete and learned how to really re react quickly to situations. But that was just pure training and kind of dedication to her craft. And I'll often turn to my assistant coach and say, that was a fifth year middle blocker play right there. Just a great play that nobody even noticed. And I was like, dang it, that was a good play. You know, and I, and I said that a lot this year. Led by example, came in every day, did her work. Um, and that part has never changed, you know, she's always been a really hard worker and she just stayed that way years one through five. I mean, and the end result is she's going to be incredibly successful with what she does. You know, every bit of her success has been no surprise to me. I mean, she, she's just an incredibly solid person of great character and works hard every day. So yeah, she's just been awesome for our program. I was sitting in the bleachers and I'm watching Dakota play and, and I'm watching this set and I'm like, dang it, she's good. Like that kid put the ball in the money. Really quiet kid, just went about her job, but set the ball like butter. I have done less work with Sydney's hand position and her setting than any other setter because there's no reason to. I'd just be mucking up a good thing. And thankfully I was old enough and experienced enough at that point to know don't get in the way of this a lot because it's already, how much better can I make it? To me, Sydney has been the quintessential everydayer. Play, don't play, feel good, don't feel good. She comes in every day trying to do the best she can for her team every day. It's just so unselfish. It speaks to the whole body of someone's work every day. You know, are you an everydayer? You know, she can look in the mirror and say, yeah, I am. So that's pretty nice legacy to leave behind. Yeah, the picture, I think, is just a perfect representation of these three. Like, big smile on their face. We just won a tournament. Ottawa, we played great. And it represents the three of them perfectly in their spirits and 
the embodiment of our program for the past five years as, as they were a part of it. And they've come up the other side as amazing people and players and um, it's just been a great journey for all three of them. And, and I think the smile encapsulates them perfectly. Yeah, I love it.